Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Astronark. Astronark? I think that's what it's. Listen, it could be an Astronarch, but I refuse. Astronark it is. Um, this is a auto battler. Um, so, you know, what's an auto battler? If you don't know, it's kind of like a deck builder. What's a deck builder? Well, you know, I don't know. Well, well let's figure it out together. How about that? Um, drag three heroes to the right. Um, so we're gonna, let's pick a pyromancer and a cleric and a paladin. Uh, these are these guys are all gonna be doing different things. I'm sure that there's good strategies for um, figuring stuff out. I notice I have more like plates. Can I drag more? Can I have a frostmancer as, <clears throat> as well? No, it's a begin adventure was was grayed out. Okay, so we're gonna have a paladin, a cleric, and a and a pyromancer. So I don't know, auto battlers. I uh, either like them or you don't. Um, they basically are pretty fun and semi casual games with a bit of depth um, in which you try and synergize and build up your team. Uh, you don't control them directly. You focus mostly on um, you know composition is like not just of like what kind of characters you have or what kind of um i mean it varies from game to game like you know towers monsters heroes champions whatever it's it's always a little bit different um but the main point is that they have a theme the themes will synergize uh they also have abilities the abilities will also kind of um combo together and that's that's mostly an uh, an auto battler Greetings, heroes. Do you, uh, do you know why are you you are here? I, I can read. I promise. This is the day of the Astronarch, after all. Astronarch. Centuries ago, it was foretold that an evil would enter the realm, and a group of hidden guardians would surface to defeat it. The guardians were said to be born of the sky, and thus became known as the Astronarch. Who are you? A friend. I sense the day of the Astronarch was upon us, and traveled here to guide you. There is more to discuss, but time is fleeting. Let's make haste. All right, the capital will be targeted. We will meet at the city gate. Before you go, I shall provide a blessing. Um, all heroes increase their max HP by 10% at all times. All heroes increase their defense by 15% at all times. Attack, reduce the cost of their active abilities by 15%. I like um, extra defense, let's try that. And we have a choice. We can go normal battle, normal battle, normal battle, but this one's in the forest. The many creatures of the forest have grown accustomed to heavily armored travelers by passing their defenses and slowing any attempts at healing their wounds. This, the ruins, the barbaric reptiles and constructs of the ruins are known to ward off intruders with their stalwart defenses and ability to use a target's own mana against them. And then there is the caves. The caves are home to creatures who seek those who uh, strongest in health and speed. Um... And, wait, yeah, and have evolved over time to combat such targets. So I'm not sure what kind of um, group we're, we're rolling. We did just take extra defense, so maybe the the, the forest is not our preferred um, route. We could just do the city. Let's do the city. We have a bit of a background change there. Uh, a piercing battle. Move your heroes if you would like to change targets. Interesting. So we have, uh, yeah, we have a bit of a composition here. They, there's only one target, so they're all gonna f fight that. Begin auto tar uh, auto battle. Do it, and they are gonna mash, mash their faces against the enemy until the enemy is dead. This guy is almost dead. Or was I wrong about that? I don't know. The, I was reading a lot into the, some of those bars. Uh, select the reward. The impaler plus 10 attack. All your attacks, uh, your your damage is dealt as if the enemy has 15 less defense. Hag's hex bag. At the start of combat, reduce the attack and defense of all enemies by 20 for 4 seconds. Uh, gain hidden. Your attacks have a 5% chance to find one gold. Not as good. And then we have gold, so we can pick one of these. I think I would like to take... Um, let's take the impaler. That seems like a just good all-around item. Uh, and then we can equip this item, probably. We'll continue with the city for now. Items with a higher rarity will sell for more gold. So we can sell items. 
Let's go ahead and give it to the Paladin. I'm assuming the Paladin has our highest defense attack. It looks like no, actually, the Pyromancer. Your attacks and attacks against you burn the enemy for 30% attack damage. Passive ability, deal 50% piercing attack damage and detonate any burn, any burn effect on your target. So maybe um, this would be best on the Pyromancer since they're already doing pretty good attack. Um... I don't know what this... Oh, I see. This is telling us how much damage it, that we're doing uh, based on, like, who's doing the most damage. Right now, the Pyromancer is doing the most damage. If we put him in front, maybe he'll do even more damage. Who could say? And then damage taken. Uh, the Cleric definitely took the most damage. And I'm not sure why or how to change that, but we'll get to it. Um, your attacks burn your target. And adjacent enemies for 40% attack damage over 10 seconds passive ability. Okay. And then damage healed. The Paladin healed some. You'd think that the Cleric would heal the most. Shield created. I see. So the Cleric healed, but the Paladin can create a shield, maybe? Uh, shield absorbs damage from attacks and active abilities. There's a lot of things going on in this game. Um, still not sure if this is the health of the, uh, the Paladin. I hope not, because they seem to be getting close to death almost every time. This time the Cleric did all of the healing damage dealt. Still, the Pyromancer is, is a topping out everyone. Um, and the Paladin took the majority of the damage. Uh, apply Frost to all enemies for 3 seconds, plus 10, a uh, 15 starting MP. Um... Every five times you attack, you and a random adjacent ally gain negate, which prevents an, a negative uh, effect from being applied. If applied to an enemy, prevents a positive effect in, uh, instead. Unstable orb, attackers have a 25% chance to receive a minor curse. Let's go with that, and I'm going to put it on the paladin since he seems to be taking the brunt of all of the attacks. Let's try an event in the forest. Maybe this is a mistake, but you know, we want to switch things up a bit, try some new things. Your heroes are approached by a slouched, pale fi figure. Um, pale man, who among you is healthy with vigor? I require sustenance. Allow me to feed upon you, and I will bestow you with a most valuable treasure. Gain a uh, vampiric guard. Lose half your morale. Well, we have morale? That's a thing we have, apparently? Um... Kill. Gain Vampiric Guard. Anyway, <laughs> a random hero loses 5 attack, 5 defense, and 5% speed permanently. 30% of the attacks and active ability damage you take is instead dealt as blade bleed damage over 10 seconds unique. Um, interesting. All heroes run. All heroes gain 5% speed next combat. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's agree and gain Vampiric Guard. And uh, I'm going to apply that on the Paladin as well. I don't yet know how to like correctly synergize things. My, my biggest fa failing uh, when it comes to auto battlers is when it comes to items, I don't know who best to apply them to. So we could do an elite battle, but we have another event coming up here. Heroes have a set order. They will attack and be attacked depending on what. That was in important information I missed. Gain two ability orbs. Morale is reduced to one. Where is our morale? Oh, this is your party's fighting spirit. Lose it and it's all over. Oh, that's not good. How about we mock? Gain six morale. All heroes increase the cost of their active abilities by two MP permanently. Oh, that sounds bad. The heroes hear an oddly familiar call from the beyond. The voice sounds like thousands of entities talking in perfect unison. Voice, kindred, you are lost. The astronaut prophecy is artifice. Agree to return to us, and you will gain untold power. Uh, all heroes gain two defense permanently. Lose two morale. Let, that sounds like the best one, honestly. You don't lose too much morale. You don't lose anything too bad, and uh, extra defense sounds good. Even though the heroes are intrigued by the voice, they decide not to respond. They hope the voice will think it failed and bother someone else. All right, let's let's try an elite battle. We'll probably die, but I, you know I want to see what that looks like. Oh, what a what a great looking bear, honestly. Forest guardian and the the bear a bear with antlers. Move your heroes if you would like to change targets. 
So, um, it looks like the cleric would take the brunt of all of the damage in this formation. But if I move the paladin here, then the paladin will take the brunt of all of the damage. They do have the most HP, so I guess the paladin is the correct choice, and they do have a shield. They are the correct choice to take damage. Um, and then maybe Vampiric Guard will do something for them. Uh, deal damage every second for 10 seconds, ignoring defense and shield. So bleed is actually quite good. I don't know if they're the one for that, but we'll, we'll see. Can we switch these on the go, or are they? is my paladin going to die, you think? Also, I mean, I have this uh, unstable orb, so the paladin is still the right choice for being attacked because, oh, 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 we're all dying, actually. We all died, but so did the bear. <laughs> Victory, barely. <laughs> barely? When your target is defeated, gain 10 attack and 10 speed for 10 seconds. For, sorry, for 5 seconds. Increase your speed by 2% per second, plus 50 HP. That could be good, again, for the paladin, maybe. Plus 50 HP... Um, plus 10%, sorry, plus 10 starting MP. Your active ability deals 75% piercing damage to your target. What is our active ability? Um, I don't know. Is it Consecrate? Um, let's do Primal Thirster. And we'll, oh, it says Sturdy... Ability orb. Drop on a hero to improve their passive ability. So we lost quite a bit of morale there. Everyone died. Um, we'll add some more attack damage to the Pyromancer. What is the passive ability here? How do I even find that out? Deal 50% piercing attack damage and detonate any burn effects on your target. Removing them and dealing their remaining uh, damage. I feel like... Well, I'll add it to our Pyromancer. Oh, upgraded. So it was Afterburn that was our passive effect. Your attacks and attacks against your... The, you burn the enemy for 60% attack damage. Okay. Um, so this time we want to maybe switch things up a bit so that the Paladin is taking the brunt of things. It might be a mistake to do that every time. Maybe if we could split the load a little bit. Yeah, this seems maybe a bit better. I don't know. Try this. Our cleric is not doing well. Please don't die, cleric. Oh god, they died. We still won, but we're losing morale at a, at a disturbing rate. Heal 2% max HP every 2 seconds. Attackers deal 30% attack damage to themselves. Unique. You can only equip one item with this name at a time. What does attackers mean? Does it mean my attackers or the uh, them? The, the monsters? Alright, let's uh let's switch things around. Oh we can we, oh yeah we can switch things around. Let's add the vampire guard to our pyromancer and then add this to our paladin. We can go to the merchant. Maybe we can buy some morale. We don't have any potions. We could probably use some potions. Your active ability increases your speed by 10%. Interesting. Deal 50% to your target when you heal a hero by any means. Gain shield equal to 30% your, of your healing received. Passive ability. Heal the weakest adjacent hero for 15% max HP and remove all stacks of random negative effects. That would be good. I guess we want the, the cleric to do that as much as possible. Plus 10 starting MP, negative 4 ability cost. At the start of combat gain divine... Which is you are immune immune to all damage. Oh, this would be amazing for our paladin, actually. So, I am gonna give them that. Uh, and then the odd bean, instead of being knocked out, heal twenty percent max HP and remove all negative effects. Can only activate once per combat. Unique. All right. 
So what is this? Your active ability uh, increases your attack by 12. Wow. So, oh, this is our, this is our act. It, it says at the bottom active ability. So we probably do want something like that. Increases your attack by 12. But we gave them the Vampiric Guard, so they wouldn't be able to take that as well. We could upgrade something. Maybe. I don't know. Let's uh, let's take the... We gotta give the Cleric something. They, they really don't have anything right now. And we'll give them the Lich Wraps as well, so that they can do as much of their ability as, as possible. Alright. Uh, we don't want to do another elite, so let's go to the caves. We want to check the caves out anyway, right? Okay, let's uh, we'll let the paladin take the brunt. I this might be a huge mistake, but um, we've got an, uh, some pretty good uh, items now on them, so they might be able to take it. And the cleric is going to be hopefully healing them a bit more, right? Yeah, this is going all right. I mean, the Paladin has taken some hits, but it's going well. Oh, did I actually do it? Yeah, I did. I did do it. We we gained morale there. Uh, at the start of combat, gain 20 attack for 6 seconds. Your first 10 attacks grant 3 MP. All of your attack damage is dealt as if the enemy has 15 less defense. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll take... Um, we don't want the cleric to necessarily have more attack. We want them to bless as much as possible. This will give them more MP. I don't really think that's worth it, though. More speed might be nice, I guess. So I guess I'll give them speed and MP. Alright, we have an event coming up. So they all have items now. I guess we want to get better items. Heroes spot a trail of bubbling goo monsters forming a circle around a wooden chest. They seem to be trying to swallow the chest whole. Fight gr grants vicious goo. Attackers have a 20% chance to be disarmed. I'm assuming attackers means whoever's attacking the person who holds this item. So this would be a pretty good item. Rush the treasure, gain vicious goo, lose a random item. So we'd have to fight them if we want this let's let's try it um hmm i don't know we could we could give this a go i think this oh they can heal oh that's a problem oh we're, we're all right we're all right Cleric has healed the paladin. This is good. But they're doing damage to the back row. Did not see that coming. We did it though. We gained some morale, morale and we gained the vicious goo. So if we could give that somehow to the paladin, that'd be good. Attackers have a 25% chance to receive a minor curse. That's still good. Attackers deal 30% attack damage to themselves. That's actually really good. At the start of combat, gain divine for 3.5 seconds. Unique. I don't know if this is as good. The extra defense is really nice, but the uh, chance to disarm themselves, I don't know. We could end up selling this, honestly. Um, so we can only go to the forest right now. Yeah, let's just, let's just go for it. I think I have a pretty good setup right now. The Paladin is still taking a lot of damage. As long as they don't die, we're okay. Oh god. Oh, they died. Bummer. Uh, increase your max HP by 10 per second. Does not increase your current HP. This is a really nice item. Would be perfect on the Paladin. Your attacks deal additional damage to equal to 3% of your current HP to your target. Uh, also a nice Paladin item. He's got the most HP. Um, Brain Sage. For every 50 MP you expend, heal the weakest hero for 100 HP over... Well, that's, that's just perfect. That's amazing. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna take that. We're gonna put it on the Cleric. 
I'm not sure how much uh, MP they are spending, to be honest. It doesn't really say. MP... Um, do, 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 active ability. It doesn't really say how much damage they... Or, sorry, how much MP they are spending when they use their active ability. But um, I have to assume they are using it often. Could go to the store again. I don't know. Let's let's just keep keep going. Oof, this looks trickier. Increased everything prevents. Oh, they can stun maybe. This could be this could be a problem. Um, it's not a problem yet. We are gonna we killed the gargoyle. All right, this is fine, actually. I think we have a pretty good composition. We actually gained morale there, that, that's fantastic. Your attacks deal additional damage to your target equal to 6% of your missing HP. Oh, that, that's uh, amazing. It, I wish I knew exactly how much extra damage we're doing. 10 plus 10 attack, negative 20% speed. Your attacks have a 20% chance to stun. Healing received is increased. Oh God, that's really nice. Um, let's take Holy Charm and put it on the Paladin since he's going to be receiving the, that healing and he gets extra HP. That That's a really good setup, I think. Um, a random hero loses 30 attack after four battles, they gain 60 attack. Well, we're about to, we're in the home stretch here. That's, that's, that doesn't seem like a good idea. 50 gold after four battles, gain 120 gold. That would be better because we're not going to go to a shop yet. Lose Plate of the Fallen. After four battles, regain the item upgraded. Which one is Plate of the Fallen? Oh, this one. I kind of need that. Gain a Flask of Flames. Uh, let's get the gold. I think that that's a, a fair compromise. Position of a boss on the map reveals its identity. Oh, I see. It's Since it's on the forest, it's going to um, be like specific. Let's just go for this. Uh, Paladin is going to die for sure this time. They died. Oh, this is bad. The cleric is doing work and removing uh, all of them negations. Uh, we might lose, like, lose-lose here. Oh, God. This guy is a problem. Ooh, Cleric. Oh, my God, he fully healed? We actually won. I can't believe it. Um, starting MP plus 5 attack. Your attack steal, steal 1 MP from your target unique. Uh, we don't have a unique item on our Cleric. Gain 10 attack. I don't know. We might want a better item than the Primal Thurster on our on our uh, Pyromancer. Or the Impaler. I think it's starting to, to look a little bit redundant. Plus 58 HP plus 5 attack. Your attacks increase your defense by 2. Hmm. Your active ability increases your speed by 10%. They already have that. I wonder if having another one... Can we, like... Oh, I didn't mean to take it. So in some of these games, you can like, um, if you get a duplicate item, you can kind of combine them. Swap hero areas, a button. Click to quickly swap all heroes to the opposite area while out of combat. Interesting. All right, let's do one last event. They generate, uh, heroes and enemies generate 10 MP per turn, per, per second. Gain an ability orb. All heroes lose four attack permanently. And ab a random ability is upgraded. Lose ten morale. Oh, we could just... That would be nice, actually. Uh, discover an ancient and ominous altar with an odd energy in the air. There is an orb sitting atop the altar. The inscription reads, Power is given as easy as it is taken in turn. Um, let's just gain all 5% speed. The next combat's going to be hard, so uh, they'll... They could sure use it. All right, here we go. Beast of the Wield. 
Um, ruin healing effects received are reduced by 60% for 10 turns. Sorry, 10 seconds. Ble uh, bleed, piercing, resistant. It's a real problem. Uh, a lot of this is pretty bad. All right, let's let's uh, let's give it a go. We can only do as good as we can do. I think I have a pretty good setup. I mean, we are we are alive, so if we if, if everyone dies, I don't know if we'll lose all of our morale. Well, the, the, the paladin is now dead. I should have put the pyromancer in the second slot. That was dumb. All right, we could still win this. Pyromancer could pull out a clutch. Oh, did they actually do it? Oh my god. Godbreaker, your attacks deal an additional 20 piercing damage to your target and all adjacent enemies. Any enemy damage damaged by this item have a 20% chance to be stunned for one second. This is amazing. Uh, at the start of combat, when you attack, gain a shield equal to 50% of your attack. That would be really good. Really, really good. And then Ragnarok, every nine times you attack, deal 250% attack damage to all enemies and apply a burn for 250% attack damage. So it'd also be good. Um... Gain a shield equal to 50% of your attack. Um, I feel like I want the Ragnarok and um, maybe put it on the Pyromancer instead of the Impaler. And we can um, upgrade some of their abilities. I'm assuming this is still going. Oh no, we just win? Drag, oh, drag one here to the right. So we get we get to take on another hero. Interesting. So it's actually a good idea to have some extra abilities and we could like strategize around um, what kind of items we have. Uh, like, oh, who should we take? To, you know, who would, who would best match these items? Maybe an, another uh, tank to, to kind of split the load between the paladin. Increase your max HP by 10 for every battle your party has been victorious. So this 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 guy seems like they would be ideal. The gladiator. So we could do something like this. Um, attackers have 20% chance to be disarmed. We can give him some items right away. Wait, drag one here to the right. Do we need two heroes? Oh, no. Continue adventure. So now we can give him some items. Heroes, I am glad you made it. The town stirs. It is upon us. What is it? I know it to be a great evil, doomed to wander the skies for an eternity, searching for fragments it lost in a battle long past. Fragments? Lost souls. It travels as a single being, forged of millions. It was almost defeated long ago, much of its structure shattered to the stars. Its weakness? It will turn even the most valorous soldiers into an agent of its desire. As the astronarch, you are resistant to its corruption. You are the key to its defeat. Let's make haste. Okay. So, um, all merchants' prices are reduced. Shield gained by all heroes is increased. I think this is the one. Uh, Hierophant gained two potion slots. No, let's, uh, let's gain that extra 30% shield. Sounds really good. Uh, so now we have new uh, areas. The alleys, home to cut purses and uh, villainy. The cursed creatures of the alley can bleed you dry in more ways than one nor uh the streets normally a safe place for the common folk the people of the streets have now been corrupted and imbued with strong magical abilities and the sewer a filthy haven to only the most resistant resilient creatures this environment will teach your fortitude i don't know what's wrong with me test your fortitude and stifle your healing all right let's start in the streets um and we'll we'll give our gladiator some stuff um, plus 10 per, plus 10 attack all of your damage is dealt as if the enemy has less um, defense attackers have 25 percent. okay so this is good for them as well and then vicious goo i think that's a good set of abilities drop a hero on a hero to improve their passive ability drop on a hero to improve their active ability what is our active ability on our paladin 
You and all adjacent heroes gain shield equal to your defense plus 100. Might be good to put are like are we are is are they adjacent? Maybe it'd be better to do something like this. Cuz then they are maybe all adjacent. I don't know if adjacent means they're all in the same square. Um we could upgrade the pyromancer again. What's our uh, passive ability on the gladiator? Uh, permanently increase your max HP for 10 for every battle your party have been victorious. Let's do that because they're coming in a little bit late. I'm assuming that they, that does not work retroactively, so upgrading that would be a good idea. Deal attack damage deal 20% additional attack damage for each different kind of negative effect on your target. Active ability. Um, active ability, bless, heal the weakest. Let's uh, upgrade the cleric. All right. So this is pretty cool. Um, this game has way more depth than it has any right to. Like, you know, I've played a, a couple auto battlers at this point, and, you know, they all have a little bit of, uh, you know, different stuff going on, different quirks, different novelties. Um, but they all play similarly. And, you know, this one's no different. It's got all of the staples of the genre. Um, we were, were we victorious there? Yes, so we gained 20 HP there. Um, but, you know, this one's got just a lot. It's just very well designed. It's a really well designed game. There's a lot of stuff to kind of sink your teeth into. Um, all of these different heroes have a lot of variety. They all have super, super unique um, kind of stuff going for them. And so there's a lot of strategy here. Uh, your attacks have a 50% chance to bo both at apply frost and deal Three piercing damage for each stack of your frost on there. I think it might be good to start taking gold instead. Your attacks have a 20% chance to stun your target. That might be worth it, but I don't know who would take it. I'm going to take the gold. Uh, let's let's try the um, streets or the alleys. I don't know which was one, which is which. So this isn't as good. We wanna we wanna split the attacks on both of these. So if I do this, are they still attacking both? Are they still both attacking the paladin? Because I want the gladiator to take some of that damage as well. Reduced defense. Wow. Yo, maybe the gladiator is not a tank. Maybe I was incorrect about that. Or maybe these guys are just super tough. That's also a possibility. Luckily, the Paladin didn't die, so we didn't lose more morale. Attackers bleed for 20 damage over 10 seconds. This might be nice on the Gladiator. Extra defense would be nice. Yeah, let's take that. And actually, let's... Um, replace we don't need to do extra damage we just need him to, to survive um, the sewer I don't know if the sewer is gonna be better we'll just continue where you know as we're going um, wow they're gonna be shooting straight through like that um, interesting so they shoot um, from you know in the back We'll have to try and do something like this. Poisoned. Everyone is poisoned right now. Okay, so this guy will actually switch people around. Gladiator is still alive somehow. Please survive. Yes! Nice. So he's gaining more and more HP. The start of combat game. Oh, divine on the gladiator would be really nice actually. Um, let's give this to him instead of that. Uh, the minor curse, I don't think is really doing it for us. Okay, this is good. And we're also all focusing one enemy, which is nice. 
they'll be invincible for the first like three seconds which you know will do more than you think or not i don't know <laughs> uh come on no paladin died we're still okay our morale is actually pretty good I don't think it's possible to win every single one flawlessly. Uh, gain hidden your attacks, have a 5% chance to find one gold. Nah, let's just gain the extra gold. Uh, I do want to go to the sword, but we're going to do this event. Having two... Okay. There we go. That's, that's good. And uh, all enemies are poisoned for 50 damage every... So we have a... We have a a, po uh, a, a poison bottle. A poison potion. I don't know what's what, what's going on with my brain. The enemies are definitely tougher, and I, I feel less confident that we can win these. Wow, we the cleric is dead. I didn't think they were going to attack the cleric. Oh no, is everyone going to die here? Everyone died. Negative four morale. Ouch. Increase your speed by 4% per second upgraded. All right, that sounds pretty good. Who would we give it to? I think maybe we'll replace the goo. Okay, this will have to do it. Uh, if we lose here, by the way, I think we lose for good. Our morale is almost done. Come on, Cleric. Cleric, you healed the wrong person. The Paladin had way less health. Well, you have failed. Oh, gosh. The heroes lose the will to continue. Um, well, that is going to be Astronarch. There's a, there's, there's a lot here, and um, this is definitely the kind of game that you're going to want to do a bit of experimentation try and figure out who you like what kind of play you know strats you like pick random heroes you could also do that that's a nice way to to just kind of get yourself ready and then like it looks like here eventually you can do um make the game even harder on yourself omen of burden defeat the evil to unlock defeat corruption 5 corruption 10 so there's like there's replayability here defeat the evil to unlock so there's there's more stuff going on here once you've actually beaten the game and, and are not absolutely garbage like I am at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really cool. I, I do like the art style. Um, it's it's simple and it, it kind of does what it needs to do. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that there, there have been other auto battlers that maybe look a bit more polished. I don't think I would play them over this one, though. I think that this... This one would um, beat them to the punch in some ways because I, I'm, I'm more interested in the added depth uh, that this one presents. So this is a, this is really cool. I, I really like this one. Um, that was Astronark. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.